Welcome to Newsnight. I'm Jeremy Paxman and this is my guest, Edwina Chloe Smith. So, is it hard for you to defend a policy you don't agree with? Not at all. I mean, no more than it's difficult for you sometimes to ask different we're questions. We're not talking about me, we're talking about you. Oh, no, well, sometimes we're talking about, about you. And it's very important in government, very important indeed, to know who you're dealing with. Now, in the, this particular case, Making sure that we didn't increase the taxes on petrol was very important for business, they're important for uh, all the companies out there, it's very important for families. But and you said it wasn't to be able to that cutting it. fuel duty would have a positive I'm effect I'm so sorry, family, darling, I interrupted you. What did you say? Well, you said it wasn't certain that cutting fuel duty would have a positive effect on families and businesses. What's changed? I changed my mind on this. I think it's Why very did you change important. your mind? I think it's very important that government should take clear note of what is happening in the world, in that economy at the time, we found that we really didn't, at this time, need to start putting the taxes up on petrol any longer, uh, and we have decided not to do that. It will be an enormous help to a lot of business. I think everyone understands that we have to do the calculations. So you were told to change your mind. All the time, time. You were told to change your mind. I have not been told to change my mind, but I am capable of Presumably intelligently evaluating what's actually happening in the world. I, I appreciate that that might be a little difficult for someone in in your position, well, Jeremy. Why didn't the Transport Secretary know about it yesterday? Why didn't the Transport Secretary know about it? You know, I'm surprised at you, Jeremy. I would have thought that you would understand that taxes are the responsibility of the Chancellor of the Exchequer, of the Treasury. They're not the responsibility of the Transport Minister. But no, I know that she's absolutely delighted. Briefed. And the fact is that we have been able to retain all the monies that we need and we are going to be absolutely certain that we can spend the money as we think fit. It's very, very good news for everyone. As a member of the government, surely he should have known about it though. Well, we all know about it now, and I'm delighted to use this opportunity to ensure that out there our voters are aware that what we've been able to do is not put up taxes on petrol anymore, and that's going to be a big help. It means that we are able to ensure that some elements of inflation are now rather better under control. It's very, very big help for anybody that uses a van, that uses a car in their business, uh, or indeed that is uh, having to pay for heating fuel. I think that's what they elected us to do. Which departments is the money going to come from? The money will come from various departments, and one of the ways that we're going to do this Which is we're going to in have. Particular would well, have I will the let most. Me, if you give me a moment, darling, just hold your horses. One of the ways we thought we'd do it is to have rather fewer press officers in Whitehall, and to have more ministers coming direct to Newsnight and to speak to the public, because I don't believe that we should just have lots of officials doing this. I think we should do this ourselves. Don't you agree? Um, no, I, no, ask my question. Do you agree? Well, I'm going to ask you a question. Which well, department I, I, is the so money coming from? So he doesn't answer questions. Terrible. I, I'm not here to answer questions. You are. Which, which department is the money coming from? The departments that the money will come from will particularly include my own department, because I do believe that we have to have really tight government in the Treasury, and therefore we will be having one less press officer as from next week. The fact is we've got a vacancy, we're not going to fill it, and that's where the money's going to come from. Is this some kind of joke? Shame on you, Jeremy. Shame on you. These are not issues to joke about. I know you may think some of this is funny, but it's not at all. The people who are having to pay to use our road, the people who have to put petrol in their cars and diesel in their, in their vehicles, they're the ones that are actually delighted to hear that we have decided not to put taxes up on petrol this summer. Do you ever think you're incompetent? I should think about as often as you think you're incompetent. But actually, you've got more reason to do it, haven't you? I really think I'm incompetent. Well, thanks for watching. Edwina, Chloe Smith, Jeremy, slightly dishevelled, Jeremy Paxman, thanks very much.